are you complaining about me right now? Why? Good eye, it's a rainy Sunday afternoon. Pat is out for her appointments as usual. And I am having my alone time. <laughs> I think in a previous episode we talked about why do I need so much alone time. And I don't know whether it's a guy thing because I do have a lot of friends that all really crave the alone time. I cannot speak for them and I don't think I have a damn good reason as well. But at least for myself, I think at work, a lot of the things I do are very much responding and reacting to either my colleagues or my clients or the needs of the shoot and, and whatever right and in the past especially when i commute i have that 30 minutes and one hour in the bus going to work that 30 minutes one hour on the bus going home which allows me to truly unwind and so for better or for worse after i got um, a car which I'm, i i recognize that I'm, I'm very blessed to have the car i realized that i lose a lot of that because my commute now is, is drastically shorter and sometimes i send pet to work drop her off or sometimes after work she can't find me i go and pick her back right and then even that 15 20 minutes is also gone so i do feel like wow there's this missing side where i can just sit down and noir and do what i like so in times like this where pet for example right now she's at her ring appointments right pet sells um, engagement and wedding bands by the way as one of her side hustles it's where i really get my much needed me time to like you know play guitar or like watch shows or do work it's time that i claim back for myself and i don't know whether this is that unique or not do y'all need this also especially for those that um, take public transport do y'all feel like y'all don't need this as a result let me know so i'm waiting for pet to come back because speaking of needing space. Today is our six months staying in this house. We've been collecting little things that I feel like wow, it really made a difference to us living here and a lot of things that uh, we might change or won't buy the next time. And so we're waiting for her to come back so that we can do an uh, episode of goodbye or goodbye, she's gonna butcher me. So we're gonna do that today. Goodbye or goodbye. <laughs> so we're gonna do an episode about the things that we regret, mm. the things that we might change if we do again, um, especially because after our house video went out, right, I think when people renovate their house, they got ask us questions. Mm. And so we're gonna talk about the things that we do differently with this uh, already amazing house. We're also going to look at the bigger things and smaller things of what are good buys and why it's not so good. Okay, let's go. So if you have a balcony, right, you might also want to get blinds. We realized that a lot of places with balcony, right, their blinds are very saggy. So they're always like this little small line. It's either that and or a lot of people's blinds spoil. So when we realized that, okay, we got this house and we needed blinds, we went to look for, is there certain blinds that just won't sag? So the brand we eventually went with is called Zipline. It's our local company. So these blinds also come with uh, suspension on both sides. So that even if you keep it up or midway or a bit or all the way down, right? Uh, you won't get that noir, that noir smile line that you get. In in some of the blinds that we see over there. So then when we went to the showroom, right, we realized our blinds is not just about blocking the sun and the rain. There's also, if there are bugs on it, right, then if you roll up, then the bugs will just forever crush, die and dry up inside. Then how? I don't know whether other blinds have this. Uh, what I know for a fact is the blinds that we chose have this, which is zip line. They basically got a brush that every time it rolls up, right, it will clean everything to make sure if there are bugs or sand or whatever dust debris, right, it goes out before it rolls in. It also has built-in light. So the built-in light, is the short part. Especially for us where a lot of the natural light all come in across the balcony. So the moment the blinds go down, right, the whole house become very, very dark. So it's very nice that um, you have light still coming in from your balcony via the lights from the blinds. So this blind from Zip Blind is a good buy. Relating to the blinds, I want to recommend another thing that is, I feel is a semi, semi good buy, which is that black color thing you see over there, broadening. Basically, any other appliance in your house, right, like fan, TV, or aircon, or whatnot, that re requires an IR remote control, right, that one can make it smart if they are not already smart. So basically, we use this to control our blinds via voice control. We also can use this to set, like, open at sunrise, close at the sunset, when it rains, close. But why I say it's only a semi good buy is that I'm currently in the market to find a better one. This one, I don't know where they extract the weather data from. Uh, but like not very soon, sometimes the whole place wet already still, still haven't closed yet. Just as you were saying, they closed you for you. Don't know where they extract the weather data from. It's not even raining outside. Not raining. The next one uh, is also a good buy, I would say it's our fan. So last time in our previous house, right, we never really put much emphasis on what kind of fan we want. We just know as long as got wind come out, can it la. So we bought from Taobao and um, it sustained us for a while and then it spoiled on us la, and then no warranty. So they only we, got three design. Yeah, they only got three design and not much color to choose from. So when we uh, were shopping around for a house, 
I realized that maybe I should look more in depth into what a good fan can provide me. So initially, I already heard about Deco Fan, but I also know it's a bit expensive. So I just wanted to go down and try in the showroom and see what the hype is about. Then when I'm there, I finally got it. I got why their fan are this price and why they are selling it at premium. I will leave the signs to the cameraman. <laughs> What a cop out. So right, what we realized, eh, and then I just posted a, a story about this because I'm very passionate about fans after seeing their showroom, right? Fan is not just look at how many blades there. Eh. Mm. You also, I mean, the blade also matters one, ah, by the way, go and see my IG story. Mm. The other thing is that, and this one we only saw at the core fan, which is that you see ours are bent up, ah, bent up like a flower petal. Mm. And it's not designed, eh. it's the whole point of it is that it doesn't blow a strong draft down. It circulates the air around the house. So we, we Purposely choose this for the living room because over here we got pendant light, we cannot put fan. Mm. So this one is good enough for the whole living room. So Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so one thing that I feel like we wasted money on, but it could be a user problem, is this one. This Google Hub. I tell you, my whole house I got a lot of Google device. So when we smart home, right, I thought, okay, la, this one help people on off light in case they don't know how to use, right? I go light. Then a random assortment of light, but we got hundreds of lights here. Then you can on, or on, off. How to, for what? I don't know, this one is uh, very confusing also. When I play music, uh, I don't know how to lower the volume. Oh, God, God. behind the button, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You know, but one time, right, somebody asked me, Hello, um, when you come into your house, there's a very nice photo frame. Where <laughs> is your phone? They're like, oh, that's your Google Hub. Yeah, that's exactly what this is now. We use this as a glorified photo frame because we really... Don't know. Lah. Don't know lah. My sister used this as a television for the child to watch to, to watch TV during breakfast. Could be a user problem, John. User problem. Mm. Okay, next one is a goodbye. Last time when we were planning for our house, uh, when we did a fruited panel design, a lot of our friends tell us, don't do it because it will collect a lot of dust. But little did they know, the, after six months, right, this is not where the dust are being collected. We never cleaned before. We never cleaned before. The place that is collecting dust is this soundbar. So this soundbar, right, it is, the sound system is not bad, quite good. But every few weeks, right, I realized that there are so much dust on it. And no matter how I clean it, all these holes are trapping it. So it's very hard to clean up the dust. So next time, right, for soundbar or for other things, right, for these whole things, if possible, try not to get those with holes at the top. Get with those just at the side, then the top, easy to wipe one. Not just for soundbar, okay, everything. Yes, everything. So it's a... Okay, Jonathan, I have one question for you. Mm. Be very honest, okay? Do you regret your plan? Ah, yes! <laughs> Let's see how it's doing okay, now. I'll tell you, this is our plan 2.0 already, ah. When we look at this plant, right? We started looking at how luscious it will be, then this nice deep green over this brown thing, right? But I tell you one thing that I don't think about, uh, that I'm thinking about now, uh, is the stem. If you are not very good with plant, or if you don't have direct sunlight, uh, meaning if it's just a balcony, right? Don't get those with those soft bendy stem one. Because they will start bending to, to see the light. Oh. So the next plant I'm gonna get after this one pass away, but hopefully you make it uh, bro. <laughs> if it's not pass away, I will get plant with a stem one. So it stays straight, you see now? Uh? You imagine you try to have a conversation with the person sitting on that chair. I cannot see your face. <laughs> and to be honest, yesterday I already chopped one. The one is already under here, so I chop away. Or so, we stop buying plant and stop killing them. Jonathan. No, no, I don't think we are killing them, eh? Are you sure? I think we are not. I don't think we are killing them. I feel like we don't have green fingers and we are not here to always look after the plant. So why? Why? why one more time. Give me one more chance. Pick plant? They want the fourth chance. <laughs> Is it a goodbye or goodbye? It's a good... Goodbye! Bye-bye! So we got the smart home, right? We thought, okay lah. Cool on, huh? can auto on, auto off and then use your phone to on off, use your voice to on off. But then there's a real hook. Okay. One of the things that really made me appreciate this whole smart home thing was the fact that when we first moved in there, I think you had to travel or you had to go and stay somewhere else, right? Yeah. Then I was quite scared because Loki, this house a bit haunted at first, right? We, then when I stay here, I'm going to sleep already, right? I remember last time, right? When you want to go and sleep, you press this one. You off the light. Which is at the door. Then the whole house dark already because the blinds all go down already. The blinds go down, no more window already. Yeah. <laughs> so this whole house is pitch black at night when the when the lights go out. Then you have to run in. If not, the monster will catch you, right? The monster will catch you. So then that night, uh, 
I reconfigure everything in the house. And I want to show y'all. Okay. So let's pretend. Uh, now I don't I don't go off all the light, uh, so we have quite a few lights all on. What do you do? Hey Google, turn down the house. Now you're going to sleep ready, uh, you're going to sleep ready. Oh. Now you know. <laughs> the blinds will close because of the broad link thing over there. All the lights are off. They make sure all the aircon is off. So you don't ever need to check, oh this one never off, that one never off, right? Come here. He also went to went to program that the aircon will be on. I yes. And your aircon in the master bedroom will turn on. That's My awful. curtain auto close. <laughs> so the monsters will never get me. Never! So goodbye. It, yeah, it's goodbye. Hey, uh, which is our smart home system? Garden! Use Garden. Uh, I'm gonna make sure of Google Home la, so you can see our house. Ah. Here got one Google speaker. Here got one Google speaker. Here got one Google speaker. The kitchen. Here got a Google speaker. Living room. Google speaker. And of course this very useless one. Another Google speaker here. Now we're gonna move on to the smaller things in the house that really just make sense. And we are going to not do expensive things. First one, we have this tower stand. This one is actually uh, from John. John bought this. Uh, at first I'm like, why? Why you want to clutter the tabletop? I want to put this ugly little thing. Usually cloth is just put on the table. Or you buy a hook to hook ma. But then we realized, right, after a while, your cloth gets very smelly. So you should air it. So after we got this stand, no smell. Yeah, no, and actually it's them chill. In the same area is this silicone tray. So, right, if you don't have this silicone tray and you just, for example, put this whole thing just right here, the bottom will always stain the countertop. Mm. And the water will just get stuck. You need to change or whatever not. Lah. So after buying this, right, if there's any water, excess water that comes out from the cutlery holder, mm. the water will flow out. Likewise for the one for the sponge. Even though it's wet, right? You just put it in here, the water will continue dripping back into mm. the sink. So I'm very clever. I'm very happy you got this one. Yes. Goodbye. Okay, next we move on to the toilet. So for the ladies, you will empathize when I say that we drop a lot of hair. And I really drop a lot. I hope so. I hope it's not just my wife's hair. <laughs> Basically, this one collects all the hair. Instead of removing this all the time, which you won't, because I won't, then you just put this on top, right? So that it catches all the hair. A side effect of that, right, is that the the hair don't look as gross. It doesn't look like there's a baby trap under your longkang. So when it starts looking like a baby trap under your longkang, right, this girl, right, don't even dare to pick up her own okay, hair. Okay, okay, okay. You know why? Last time, right, at my mother's house, I wanted to clear. Then, you guess what? I want katua inside. So from then on, I'll be traumatized. I don't want to grab. Because if I grab and then something move, right, I will scream. I feel like that's a made up story. No, it's not! Of kutus. So this one is very, very recent. We only got this last week. But it's this exercise machine. Power Gym is from iRunning. So this exercise machine, right, has a lot of accessories, okay? And you turn the knob to increase the weight. It comes with a bunch of accessories, the basic set. For example, this one. Then you can do deadlift or bench or chest press. The abdominal strap. So when you do lunges and squats, right, you don't need to keep holding. Mm -hmm. So your hands are free. You only activate your legs. I see. Then we got ankle strap that allow you to... I never have used ankle strap yet. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It doesn't work like a resistant band, elastic band one. It's powered by a motor inside that's pulling you. So the weight is completely consistent. And it's very fast. I love this. Ever since I got this machine, right? Last week, until now, I have worked out every single day. I see. It also has an app that, rec that recommends what exercise to do and blah, blah, blah. So you can do your own routine. Or you can customize your own routine and sync to a calendar. So it just tells me like, oh, it's time to work out. Then I just come here, right? I put the phone on the floor. It just covers everything. Like, you just tell me then you are done. Including break times. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye! Okay, now you show your apps. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coming soon, uh. stay tuned, stay tuned. If we were to renovate this house again, right? Mm. Or our next house, what do you regret? What will you change? I will change our shoe rack. Not that it is not a good idea right now, but I underestimated myself on how much shoes I have. But that's a you problem. That's a me problem. It's really yeah, I tell you, problem. all our clothes and shoe and accessory storage, right, is she she take two third and up. So I show you, I show you. So, it's very, very deep. <laughs> Looks like magic Harry Potter. This is the design, okay? This is how it should be. You pull out, just nice, fit two shoe. It's pear one. 
Actually, you did quite a lot of shoes already, oh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six pairs, eh. Yeah. But, oh yeah, yeah, this one cannot even open properly. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs, eh. <laughs> so that I counted how many pairs of shoes I yeah, have, Yeah, the right? problem is you. Okay, here's one thing I'll take into consideration for my next house. I realised, right, because this house is is supposed to be somewhat neat and minimal at all times, right? Mm. But when people come, especially more than four people, mm. they all come with bags. Those with children will come with a lot of bags. And if not, it's just one handbag. And they start coming and then they will just lay it on the sofa. Or they will lay on the floor. My next house, or if I could do over this house, I will plan for a dedicated area, right? For when people come to put their shit. Uh, but this is the you problem. It's also like, <laughs> I feel that people who left their bags on the floor here is fine. Like, here? As you know, like, over here. They don't, yeah, no, yeah. But, but even then, they don't. Uh. It's I put one. When it's there, it's usually I put one. Usually, oh. they will just come. Like this woman, uh, she lives here, right? She come back, her bag is here and here, her parcel put here. Then another back here, then another back here, then another parcel here. Hey, why are you why are you complaining about me right now? Why? As long as I clear it, it's fine. What? Just need to give her six working days. So while packing for our trip to Istanbul, where we're gonna go tonight, we realized we forgot to do closing. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, let us know what you think. If there's anything in the house you want us to like review or like to tell you what to look out for, do let us know in the comment section. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.